Now my Dean's List Day List interview for today. One of the few performers to achieve EGOT, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony honors. A uh, new documentary on the amazing life and career of Rita Moreno opens this weekend. Tells the stories of her upbringing in Puerto Rico, her 70 year plus career, plus being cast in the original movie version of West Side Story, struggles with sexism and abuse, even her romantic relationships with people like Elvis Presley and Marlon Brando. In a Zoom chat with me last week, she told me a great story about dating both of them. How often do I get a chance to talk to somebody who dated both Elvis Presley and Marlon Brando? Yeah, it's kind of fun, isn't it? That doesn't happen to me every day. No. And I was just trying to make Marlon jealous. I mean, don't you love that? <laughs> I was trying to make Marlon jealous because I had found a lady's lingerie in his house, and I went home crying and carrying on. <laughs> and the very next day, I get this phone call from a man who said, Hello. Hello, Miss Marino. This is Colonel Parker. Oh, boy. And, uh, and I was feeling really snarky. And he says, I handle Elvis Presley. And I said, what part do you handle? <laughs> I mean, I was really feeling, I was so angry at Marlon. And he says, well, to make it short, he said, uh, Elvis saw you on the commissary at 20th Century Fox and he liked what he saw. Wow. And I just want to know from him to you, would you like to meet him? And uh, I thought of the lingerie and Marlon, I said, and I said in the accent, same accent, yes, I would. <laughs> and boy, Marlon found out, this is the, the day before social media. He found out and that man threw chairs. It was wonderful. And that's fantastic. So oh, oh, I wish we had an hour to talk. Thank and, you, uh, and you're one of my favorite cities ever. I love Chicago. Yeah, we love you too, Rita Moreno. Just a girl who decided to go for it is the name of her documentary. It opens in theaters on Friday. Produced, by the way, by Lin-Manuel Miranda, who she defended on late night TV last night in this whole lack of dark-skinned Latinos represented controversy surrounding his new movie in the Heights. Rita simply said they're attacking the wrong person. This man has brought Latino-ness to America more than anyone else, including herself. She said, sometimes you can never do anything right, it seems. So.